I am Dr. Mark Zuberi, board certified plastic surgeon, practicing in Toronto and Richmond Hill. Lip procedures are very well established procedures which are performed almost on a daily basis in both of my clinics. Lip procedures include lip augmentation, lip reduction, and many forms and techniques of lip lift. By far the most common is lip augmentation. And lip augmentation is commonly performed with our wonderful fillers such as Restylane and Juvederm. Juvederm now offers a longer lasting product called Volbella and Volift, which again offer longer lasting results for my patients. For those patients who wish a longer lasting result and sometimes a permanent result, we will consider fat grafting procedure. Fat grafting procedure is an old technique that has been revisited over the last 5 to 10 years since the advance of new research studies on stem cells. So for lip augmentation with fat grafting, we will go and harvest some fat either from the thighs or from the abdomen. We will treat the fat with the Coleman system and we will re-inject very carefully and meticulously fat cells into both upper and lower lips. I do believe in a natural looking lip and for that reason I usually guide my patient towards an aesthetically pleasing result. Another procedure that I do offer in my practice is lip reduction. There are certain ethnicities where lips are larger than the average and some of those patients do request reduction. Reduction of either the upper or lower of both lips can be easily performed under local anesthesia. The incision for lip reduction is located in the red lip at the margin between the wet and the dry region. Lips also get longer with aging. It is very common to not only see lesser of the red lip as we get older, but it is also very common to get longer white lip and the loss of teeth showing with smiling. For this reason, there are different techniques of lip lift. One of the techniques involves an incision just below the nostril, where the nostrils meet the white part of the upper lip. A small amount of skin is excised and the skin is lifted up, causing an eversion or turning up of the upper lip. During this procedure, I commonly will also suspend the upper lip muscle with stitches which I will anchor to the strong nasal cartilage. Finally, the corners of the upper lip can be turned back up with a small excision of skin in a triangular shape in the corner of the upper lip. All those procedures are simply done under local anesthesia and the recovery is relatively simple and short. In summary, I truly believe that lips are very important in one's facial aesthetics. They are very sensual and ultimately they should be given all consideration for a more youthful result.